In searching for a problem our game could potentially solve, we learned that financial literacy was low among teenagers. A study done in 2011 of high school students tested for six content areas relating to financial literacy. Of the six areas, four of them scored below 50% accuracy, with the content area of risk management scoring the lowest of 35.3% accuracy. We think we can help do something about this and change the statistics. Knowing that financial literacy was a problem, we decided to create a finance-based game that teaches the players financial literacy. Video games can be an entertaining and enjoyable way of learning and what we believe could be a very effective medium to teach financial literacy. We had to make sure that when we designed the game, it had to be appealing and playable. Had that not, nobody would want to play it and we wouldn't be solving the problem. I mean, financial literacy is not exactly the most fun of topics, but it needs to be taught. What we finally created was a game that teenagers could play to learn financial literacy and better prepare themselves for the real world challenges of managing their money, stocks, and happiness. The game is called Finance Frenzy, and we intend to teach players about finance, constructing a basic budget, balancing work and happiness, investing in stocks and real estate, and how and when to retire. One of the first problems we ran into was that no one in our group knew how to use Game Maker, and it was such a unique program in the sense that it treats scripting objects and coding so weird that it was quite a learning curve to it. But with the help of the documentation from the Game Maker site and also form boards, it became rather simple in the end. Another one of the problems we ran into was that we just did not have artists on our team or graphic designer. So most of our art was relatively simple and basic, just Photoshop edits. Also, I think we overstepped our boundaries on what we could do. We planned to do so much. However, in the limited amount of time, we couldn't do as almost like half of what we wanted to do. And also, learning Game Maker took some more time than initially planned, as well as debugging. If we had to do our FED project over again, I would focus more on streamlining the creative process. This way we could develop a final idea sooner, so we would have more time to work on the project on the back end. I'd also research more so we could more closely model in-game features to real life events and concepts. I would recommend that the engineering freshmen of 2017 balance their ideas with their implementation. What this means is that while developing ideas for their practice is important, it is equally important that they work towards making their ideas into reality on a regular basis. Leadership is also important, and I would recommend that someone from the team always steps up to the plate when it comes to assigning roles and making sure milestones are met.